back, everybody. And ladies and gentlemen, my first guest this evening is an Emmy Award-winning actor you know from the Ryan Murphy universe in movies like The Post and Glass. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Sarah Paulson. <laughs> Fine, sir. It's lovely to see you again. It's been too How long. Are you? Is this mine? Uh, well, it is yes, now, that is guys. Yours. This is mine. mine now. This is Daddy's right over there. There you go. Water? Mm, I hope so. Me too. Yes. Um, I, the, a bouquet of congratulations is order to you. Uh, uh, drama League. <laughs> They don't even know yet. They don't even know what it is. They're, they're anticipating they're like, how good, good for good her. For her. Uh, you won a Drama League Award, and you're nominated for a Tony Award for your performance in the new play, Appropriate. There you go. There you go. Uh, you must be feeling pretty good to be Sarah Paulson right now. <laughs> I, you know, I'm trying my best to embrace this idea of, like, pride in one's self. Because I think we're living in a time where, at least I feel, we're not sort of allowing ourselves to celebrate the things that we've worked very, very hard for. And so, yes, I feel like Patty Simcox in Greece, where I'm like, I'm so excited about myself. Um, but I do feel like I've worked really hard and mm -hmm. I'm excited that people have responded to my work because it sure beats the alternative. Right. Just take the time to enjoy yes, it. Yes, and I... Take the time to enjoy I it. Do, yes. I do... I really do feel like... Yeah. We're afraid to self-celebrate. Yeah. Without, you know, worrying that people are going to think we're full of ourselves or something. I got a lovely message from Nora Ephron once. She called me up and said, I just want to make sure you're enjoying this because... You work, people work very hard, and then they achieve a certain thing, and then they don't allow themselves to actually enjoy the moment. So, That's right. And from, also, this may yeah. be it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's coming. That's what I hear. Do you That's know what, what I, I mean? Hear. Like, it this is may, over it for may be, Sarah it Paulson. It might be over. <laughs> That's why we have you here tonight. We have you here tonight to let me know. Exactly. This Can, is the end of the line. Turn in your badge and your gun. <laughs> your You're SAG card, candy. your equity card, got to go. You've hit, you've hit it, kid. Um, uh, you were just honored by a, another thing, which is this is actually, <laughs> this is kind of cool. Um, uh, there's a, a, a restaurant here in New York. It's mm -hmm. a mainstay mm -hmm. of Broadway. It's theater called Sardi's yeah. in the theater community. And basically, there are, there are portraits, sort of caricatures, but really cartoon portraits of, of uh, stars of Broadway on the walls. And there you are getting your Sardi's portrait. Yeah. Right there. I mean... I know. If you know, you know. That's if a pretty special thing. you know, you thing. know. It's an outrageously special thing. Exactly. Made even more special by the reality that my mother moved to New York City when she was 27 years old with a five-year-old me and a three-and-a-half-year-old my sister uh, by herself, alone, single mom, and got a job working at Sardi's. And the man, there's a, a man named Max. Is this it? Yes. Uh, that man right there. That man right there now owns the restaurant, but he hired my mother when he just managed the downstairs uh, floor of the restaurant. Um, and my mom was the only person who worked there who had children at the time. And, and when um, my mom and I walked in to have this unveiling, they call it, um, they saw each other and he started to cry because he said, I remember, I remember you so well. And he grabbed her by the arm and said, you know, we, we did all right. And it was oh. just very moving. Very oh, that's moving. you. I'm, I'm crying. I know. I'm crying. I know. I know. <laughs> so that's, it's, that's all that's been happening. It's not a big deal. Well, you're no, you're, mm -hmm. you're no stranger to the, to the stage. When you were 19? 19, 19 yes. The, uh, the, the Sisters Rosenzweig. Wendy Wasserstein's play, yes. The Sisters Rosenzweig. Okay. I like the one smattering applause. Like, the one little applause. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent work. Okay, so mm -hmm. take me back. You're on Broadway at 19. Yeah. What, what is that like for young Sarah Paulson? Well, it was my first job, and I was... What? I mean, it was my first job. Professional I think I, gig. My first professional gig, and I had... I had not, I had made the decision to not pursue a college career, which, mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> has its... I dig it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it was okay, I guess, um, sure. for me. Um, had you studied I can't spell Parmesan, but that's okay. <laughs> I can't. No. Don't ask me to do it. How about cause... Pecorino Romano? Are you okay Pecorino with... Romano I also cannot spell. Okay, but did you ever wait tables? Um, I did wait tables for a, a hot second, and I got an order for 
Parmesan, for chicken Parmesan, and I couldn't spell it, and so I quit. You're joking. I swear to God, that's I worked at Circles Pizza. That's where the Parmesan came from? Yeah, I worked at Circles Pizza in Brooklyn, New York, uh, Brooklyn uh, Park Slope. It was my first sort of job, uh, waiting tables, and it lasted about six hours. Wow. Because they were like, hi, I'd like to order a chicken parm, and I was like, chicken Parmesan. How do I spell Parmesan? I just wasn't, and it didn't occur to me, I mean, this is really making me sound like an absolute dolt, and it's not incorrect, but uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't occur to me that I could write chick parm or something, and I, so I got a lovely so pre- you quit? I quit. I called my, <laughs> I mean, that's, you well, can you tell. Well, you know, that stick-to-itiveness. <laughs> that stick to you know, I really Kids, got. how do you succeed in this that business? That tenacity. Any just, resistance? Yeah, absolutely. Quit. Just say no, yeah, walk away. I just, wow. I just thought this is not going to go well, and right. it didn't go wow. well for me. So well, I you left. didn't need to because you're on Broadway. I 19. got a job understudying the great actress Amy Ryan, sure, uh, who is also nominated for a Tony this year for her work in Doubt, which is just wild. We're in oh, the same, yeah, same category. same category. And she, I was damn, yeah, damn. But the most, the most special part about doing that show actually was, I had never done a play before with an actual curtain, a big heavy red velvet curtain. Oh sure. I mean, I was 19. I had never really done a play before. A proper proscenium. Yeah, a proscenium like that. and the whole thing. And I'm sitting there, and I remember like looking into the wings, and the stage, stage guy. Manager. Stage, no, he's not the stage manager because he was in the booth. The guy who was going to lift the curtain. I don't know what his stage title hand. is. Stage, stage hand. hand. Yeah. And he looked at me, and he was like, "Ready?" And I said, "Ready." And then he pulled it up, and I remember the weight of the curtain going up, and the waft of freezing cold air, and then people applauding the set. And of course, I was like, "Oh wow, I guess I'm doing okay because they're they're clapping." I didn't know it was not for me, by the way. Youth. Nice. <laughs> We have to take a quick break. Okay. We'll be right back with more Sarah Paulson, everybody. Stick around. 